Hello good day viewers, welcome back once again. Today we have a very nice looking equation involving the natural logarithm. We have the natural log of x equals x to the power of 2. From here, let's divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So here by x to the power of 2, from here by x to the power of 2. Now from here, we have this can be written as 1 divided by x to the power of 2 multiplied by the natural log of x then this equals 1 from here or this will cancel this right then remember when we have 1 all over a to the power of n we can write it as a to the power of a negative n so from here this will be x to the power of negative 2 multiplied by the natural log of x and this is equal to 1 now let's take note of this. A can be written in terms of the natural logarithm with base e as e raised to the power of the natural log of a. When a has a power of b, then we write it as a to the power of b multiplied by the natural log of a. So from the left here, this we can write it as e to the power of negative 2 multiplied by the natural log of x multiplied by the natural log of x from here. This equals 1. Now, we want to make use of the Lambert W function. Remember, when it has this argument, this simplifies to x. Because the power of e here and the coefficients are exactly equal. But right over here, the power of e here is negative 2 multiplied by the natural log of x, and the coefficient here is just the natural log of x. We can't introduce this right now because the power and the coefficients are not yet equal. So let's make them equal by multiplying both sides by negative 2. When we multiply both sides by negative 2, we get negative 2 multiplied by the natural log of x, then times e raised to the power of negative 2 times the natural log of x. This equals natural, I mean negative 2. Right? Okay, so from here, let's introduce the Lambert W function on both sides. Here we get negative 2 times natural log of x multiplied by e to the power of negative 2 times the natural log of x from the right Lambert W function of negative 2 from left here this simplifies to just negative 2 times the natural log of x which is equal to the w of negative 2 divide both sides by negative 2 from here this comes to this we have the natural log of x which is equal to negative 1 over 2, yes, then the Lambert of negative 2. Now, to solve for x here, x is equal to e to the power of negative 1 over 2, w of negative 2. And guess what? Using my calculator, I found out that x here is a complex number. 0 0.6144 minus... 0 0.681065 i and this is the right answer this equation has no real solution now take note of this the graph of this equation looks exactly like this and is a very good way to show that the equation has no real solution so let's call this f of x which is equal to the x squared and as a parabola right then from here we have this which is the g of x the g of x here equals the natural log of x so we can see that this parabola here and this curve here has no intersection points right which is telling us that there is no real solution. And here we have infinite number of complex solutions, but we just found only one complex solution. And here is the right answer. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.